So for pretty much the first hour after waking up, I make some coffee, I deal with important work stuff, and I watch YouTube videos. This is the Toto Museum. Sadly, there was no filming allowed, so I could only take pictures, but it is a museum dedicated to the porcelain throne and everything else made out of porcelain that Toto has produced. Like for example, this beast, running on 10 cylinders with the poop helmet. Poop dyn- erod poop dynamic. We even have a tutorial on how to poop on the toilet paper, so you have the most important things when you need them. Overall, a great museum. Toto has been making poopers for a solid century, and you could see how they progressed from a hole in the ground to an over-engineered machine from the future designed to suck the caca right out while pampering you. This is the toilet of my dreams, but it is so expensive that they haven't even listed the price of it on their website. They just said email us or uh, send us a text or call us. I guess this is one of those things where um, if you have to ask for the price, then it's uh, too much for you. I swear to God, if they don't have the best toilets in here. What? They indeed had the best toilet in there. Plus, the entire bathroom looked like a section from the museum itself. I felt like I was Mich Michelangelo, the pooping man. Alright, so that was the Toto Museum. It was more than toilets, it was ceramics and electronics and oh, the toilet was good. Also, gift shop. Oh my goodness. Toto owns Noritaka, which is a ceramics company. They also produce this Moomin Cup. Solid gold. Hundred dollars just for the handle. The biggest thing that I learned from here, you have the big flush and the small flush and they do the same thing. They use the same amount of water pretty much and they use the same sort of flush. I couldn't show it because you can't actually film those uh, specific moments because there's like inner workings of toilet showing off the inside of it, which uh, they didn't want everybody to see because I think industry secrets or whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, we, pushed, uh, we pushed both of them. Both of them had the same result. Everything feels like a lie now. Eight months in Japan and it doesn't matter if you push the big button or the small button. What the fuck? Get in. We have entered Oita. Yeah! USA, USA, USA. We have finally arrived in Beppu. This is the Umi Jigoku. You can see huge vape clouds coming out from everywhere around here. They are very egg flavored. E <laughs> This water is 200 degrees. It features things like water lilies. The umijigoku. The umijigoku when it snows or when it's fall. Inside we have a shop. Craziest thing, this beer is red and blue. How how you doing my fellow CEO? <laughs> I'm just smoking some green tea. Green tea smokes coming to a store next to you, never, because it's Japanese exclusive. <laughs> Chabako. A gallery. We got a greenhouse. This is a greenhouse that's being completely heated up by the gas coming from the ground, so it can be hot throughout the entire year and have uh, tropical plants be grown here. I think I memorized everything correctly. I'm not sure. Here's the, here's the actual thing that I memorized. A shrine, a cafeteria, a food bath, uh, that's it. I understand why Beppo is called the vape capital of Japan. This is Umejigoku. It was created 1200 years ago when the Mount Surumi erupted. It got its name from the color of its water, which looks cobalt blue like the sea. I wonder if I'd die if I fell in. A 
overall, this is quite a nice place for 650 yen. Not even too bad. Actually, it was 450, I think. Gallery is on the second floor there. You can see a picture from the window. But I'm too lazy to go inside. Cheese naan, kima e curry, sarada. Up next, we have the Beppu Tower. I think outside of Tokyo, this is the tower that has had the best views because it's 360 like every tower, but it's just good. It's a good view of the city. Okay, it's it's nothing too special. You have the sea to one side, the city's to the other side, but it's just overall great. Maybe I'm just tired. <laughs> that is us. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> We're inside the tower now. They're never gonna find us. Chat, am I lit up? Am I on light? We went to a modern art museum to get another manhole card. Soon we'll have the deck to beat every other manhole card deck. Next hotel. This is the room number. Uh, don't come here, please. Let there be light. Initial room review. There's a little hole here. Not the biggest fan of these, because you can't really put stuff in here very properly. Bathroom. Usually they don't give these anymore, they just have these in the reception and you have to like ask, so it's more sustainable. But looking at everything, it's... Cleanliness is already much better than the previous place. I don't like this though, it's, it's a bit, it's not even. This is lower than this. Wait. Oh. Oh, that's perfect. We got a mini fridge with no water inside this time around. Another safe, we have a kettle. That's not hidden away, that's nice. The tissues, whatever, uh, tea, stuff. Hair dryer. <gasps> Working area, also really small. Not the biggest fan of that. Like I said, just take everything, put them away. Could be better, could be worse. Next up, we got the bed. This is where the me, 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 me. happens. And let's finish off with a spider check. Oh, okay, it doesn't open, never mind. Overall, okay, I haven't checked the internet, but it should be decent. Uh, overall, for, for now, I must say 5 out of 10. Free coffee. We also went to 7-Eleven, get like dinner, because we're not gonna head out today. Yesterday's dinner was a bit uh, more expensive than we'd liked. 5,000 yen per person? Yikes. It's not even too late, it's like half past 7, but we're kind of tired. So I'm just gonna work for the next like 4 or 5 hours, watch some YouTube and then head to bed. So that, that's pretty much it for today. Nothing too fancy. Tomorrow I think we're gonna hit it harder. Maybe. I don't know.